Welcome to URL Battle Rap Arena. The street star North Hip Hop Cycle. What's good, man? What's good, my nigga? No Jesse Weekend. We fired him again. Um, <laughs> you know, I don't know. I don't know what's up with Jesse. He's, he's been uh, he's been everywhere. You know, he's been very depressed recently. Ever since uh, I think uh, Sunday, he's been very depressed. I don't know what happened to him. But uh. You know, everybody out there, to, uh, can you please pound sign Jesse, don't pay yourself. You know what I mean? <laughs> but anyways, yeah. I mean, it's been slow for, for Battle Rap recently, but uh, we got some big announcements ready to be made. Yeah. Ready, ready soon. I actually, check this out. I got a, I got a little a little, a little, little announcement to make. Uh, March 9th, those fans are going to be in the Tri-State area. In New York City, I'm having a PG. And I know a lot of fans want to watch these PGs, and, and, and a lot of times like, I, I close them off and I don't open them to the public. But for this particular one, I might let y'all niggas come through. I'm going to charge y'all, of course. It's not going to be crazy. But um, <laughs> for the fans that do want to come, it's, right now it's three battles. I might go to five. Um, it's actually going to be Johnny Alcatraz versus Newborn, which is going to be a bar fest. I yeah. think Bar Fest is going to be crazy, crazy, crazy trade. So mm-hmm. Johnny Alcatraz was newborn, March 9th. Um, uh, Latter Day versus Tone Montana. Another mm-hmm. crazy battle. You niggas are yeah. going to want to be there for that. And J. Rell, who was one of my guys who I really like out of Detroit, he's going to be battling T. Riley out of New Orleans. I just liked that in maybe about 10 minutes ago. So those are the three battles that are going to be going down as of right now. I might add two more for March 9th. So fans that do love the PGs, and there are a lot of you guys. Um, Smack you all those PGs are going to be March 9th. I'm just doing a few, a few that day, and I'm probably going to do another few the next month. A lot of people like watching them. So... If you guys want to be in the audience, if you guys want to to, to witness these battles live, because they are amazing. Psycho, you actually were at the last two PGs, and, and, and you could probably vouch for them. I mean, what was your take on them? Oh, uh, crazy battles. Like, I'm still waiting for, uh, I still would like to see a couple of the other battles when the rooftop PGs are dropped. And, um, yeah, just, just crazy battles. Some that the two PGs was crazy. Um, the ones, the ones last year in March was crazy. Like, yeah, I always enjoy myself at the PGs because the PG guys be real hungry and, you know, they, they, they don't hold back. And, you know, sometimes, you know, like I said before, you know, sometimes the main stage guys, you know, it seems like they might hold back or might not, I don't know, maybe the hunger just don't always seem like it's there every, every single battle, but it's never like that in the PGs. Nah, I feel you. I feel you. A lot of people don't realize, like, you know, this is where these guys come from. Like, the majority of them. So, it, it, it's 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 a good look, man. It's real. It's real controlled environment. It's dope. It's fun. Mm-hmm. And, I mean, it's more one on one as opposed to the events, and you really get to see the lyricism of these battlers. And it's it's kind of crazy because there's no crowd help. You know what I mean, like. Yeah. That really beat the NC in front of you. And a lot of Zay versus Tone Montana. Mm-hmm. Something. That's going to be crazy. Like, I think that, that and that Johnny Alcatraz, those are two battles that I think are going to be contenders for battle of battles of the year. So many fans out there right now that are really trying to um, come see them. I'm only going to let maybe, uh, I don't know, maybe 60 people, maybe. And if you're in the Christ mm-hmm. area and you want to come, let me know. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna have it open. Um, that's ticket gonna be limited. I'm not gonna have a huge event because I don't. I can have it as an event cycle, but I actually prefer it this way because it's more intimate. Yeah, I like it. I like the smaller crowd for the PG too. Yeah, and I, I think it's just it's just a good you know it's a good experience for these guys. You know what I mean? And mm-hmm. it, it kind of reminds me of. You know, when everybody used to freestyle in the corners and, and, and you yeah. your best MC, so you know, mm-hmm. I think it, I think it definitely be a good look. So fans that do want to see it, please come out. Uh, I mean, just inquire. You can hit me on Twitter at Street Star N O R B E. Um, hit me up until March 9th. I will give you the information. 
Um, I'll probably give you an email to contact me at because I'm not giving you my number, you psychopaths. Because <laughs> it's like I've had people literally have my number and call me rapping at 4 in the morning. <laughs> like, yo, what's up, Norris? I'm like, yeah, it's 4 in the morning, my nigga. You better be on fire. And and, and, and the nigga just start rapping. And I just be like, <laughs> please. Well, I've had some of the worst prank calls, my nigga. I had uh, some girl call me at 4 in the morning one day talking about, I want to have sex with you. And I was just like, yeah, okay, I'm, I'm, yeah, what? Fuck. <laughs> and I'm, I'm thinking, I swear to God, I thought it was my girl pranking me. I, I still think it was her pranking me. And it's just random people calling me, right? Calling me all the fucking time, pranking me and doing this. I've actually had some weird experiences, though. Now, i got to tell you this one. A fan, all right, I, I don't know if he tweeted me or, or, or texted me. I don't know how he got my number. I think he texted me. And he texted me, and he was like, yo, I got to take a picture with you. I said, yo, that's cool. I'm not mad at you. You can do that. Like, I, I'm, I'm, I'm that type of nigga. I don't, I don't mind. Like, it's a, it's a, it's a, to me, it's a compliment. Yeah. And I'm like, cool, that's what's up. So then he proceeds to tell me why he wants to take a picture with me. And this is what freaked me out. <laughs> so I'm like, yeah, we can do the picture. Like, yeah, man, I got to take a picture with you or, or my girl. Won't let me come to an event, so I'm like, oh, he probably, you know, probably his girlfriend thinks that, you know, he's a cheater and he's gonna cheat on us, or she, he, she wants proof. So that's yeah. what I'm thinking in my head now. Yeah. So most men would think, but then he proceeds to tell me, my girlfriend's in love with you. <laughs> so I'm like, oh god, you don't tell no other dick you know shit. <laughs> I'm like, excuse me. <laughs> He's like, yo, my girlfriend's in love with you, and I really want you to meet her. Now, I don't know about you guys out there. If my girl told me to take a picture with some dude that she's in love with, yeah, I, I might punch her in the face. I might. <laughs> <laughs> but wait, what's worse? Her telling him some shit like that, or him actually relaying the fucking message? No, and, and then he's like, and then he's reading the message, and he's like, yo, I really want to introduce you to her. I want you to meet her. Now, uh, it was just too, it was just too weird for me. Like, why are you so anxious for me to meet your girl, bro? Like, like, <laughs> yeah, nothing's going to happen. Like, I'm not going to have sex with her in front of you, you fucking weirdo. That's all I <laughs> think about the whole time. And I was just like, oh, my God, this nigga's crazy. He wants me to pull his girlfriend in front of him. I've had some very, I've had some weird fatty spaces. That was definitely one of them. That that was. Oh, that just reminded me of a story that mm -hmm. broke um, earlier this week. I was going to touch on it earlier this week. Did you hear about this situation with these two guys that was locked up and they came home and they went to McDonald's, right? Met a jump off. Took the jump off home, right, with him and shit. One of the dudes take the girl in the back, and he starts busting the ass, right? Okay. Now, his boy busts in the room and starts taking the shit off, and the girl starts giving him some head. Okay. Now, that was normal now, in the middle, huh? Sounds pretty normal to me. <laughs> now, now in, the middle of him, now, in the middle of him getting head, he looks over and tells old boy, like, you know, switch, like, you know, like, let's switch or whatever. Old boy didn't want to switch. He didn't want to get out the pussy. So <laughs> the dude that was getting the head got pissed off. He goes, he, he gets mad, leaves, goes in the kitchen, grabs a butcher knife, and goes in there and starts trying to kill both of these motherfuckers. And he stabs, he stabs his boy and everything else is that in the third and then he ends up getting locked up and going back to fucking jail. That nigga was mad because <laughs> he was dead. That's it, man. That just I mean, first of all, I'm gonna keep it all the way hard. I don't, I don't, I don't. A lot of these niggas, they do this whole period shit. I'm not with that. Me neither. That's you know, yeah. You do your thing with the chick. I probably won't even go that route with you. I won't even take her after you. But, yeah. You know, that's nigga, that's nigga shit. Some niggas do the trade shit. That's that's on them. But 
if you are going to share a female, you got to share with her. Like, uh, <laughs> if your boy's greedy, my nigga, don't kill him. I'm going to try to kill him. <laughs> when I get in a bunch, she could have probably called her mom or her sister. Or well, another jump off, because a jump off is always followed by the next jump off next time. Like, hey. a jump off just, just doesn't hang out by itself. Yeah, the mm-hmm. main a jump off hangs out with jump offs because they all jump off together. So yeah. these morons, they, this guy's a moron going with the jail. I don't know. I don't, he's probably from Jersey, by the way. Nah, they weren't from Jersey. Don't they chill. <laughs> that, 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 that's pretty fucking hilarious, though. You went to jail because your boy didn't want to. Come on. They want to switch. Yeah, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> I mean, they fresh out of jail. They, I mean, they was already fresh out of jail. They just came home like a day or two ago, like when before the shit happened. That nigga, he, he probably missed his boyfriend. Uh, who knows? Like, <laughs> I, I, can't, I can't do it, man. I can't go to jail, especially over no pussy. That's crazy, man. But, you know, whatever. Anyways, today, we don't have no guests. So we're just going to fuck with the fans today. A lot of funny shit's been been being said. I, I, a guy called Starbuck while the other day. This is crazy to me. Shout out to my big brother Star for Starbuck Wild. Mm-hmm. He called Starbuck Wild the show. Now, for those of you who don't, don't know, me and Star are really good friends. Like, that dude has done a lot for me, period. And I would mm-hmm. never disrespect that man because I love that man. He is like a big brother to me. Mm-hmm. And um, a fan calls up to the show. And says, Star, you need to diss Norbs. I hate that nigga, that fat nigga, da da da. First of all, by the way, I'm not that fat no more, so I just want to throw it out there. <laughs> and, and the nigga literally asked Star to diss me. So Star returns fire, like, why would I diss Norbs? That's my guy. Like, mm-hmm. and then he, and then he, then Star's like, I would never diss him, whatever. He kind of gets into it. Then he sees to ask the guy, do you know Norbs? No. Have you ever met him? No. Now, this is what baffles me. <laughs> my nigga, you don't know me. You never yeah, yeah. met me. We never crossed paths. We never had a conversation. You might have tweeted me and, and, and all this shit. But you hate me. Now, why do you hate me? The nigga had no reason. Now, this was baffles me. Like, I'm like, bro, don't get caught up in, in, in other people's hypes of talking bad about a person. If you don't know the person, then. You can't pass judgment on somebody if you never met them. And it just blew my mind that some fans, whether they like me or they hate me, it doesn't really matter to me, to be honest with you, because a real fan understands my position and understands, you know, I don't mind if they disagree with anything I say or nor of your bias. That's cool. Mm-hmm. You understand? Know but if you don't like me and then you want people to diss me and you want me to fail, like, it's just hate, my nigga. Like, but why? Why do you hate on me? Yeah. And it just bugged me out. You called another man short to hate on me. And, and it's funny because I had, uh, last week, Jesse does the boards and he did, some, he did a real dickhead move. A fan mm-hmm. goes up and just starts cursing me out. Right? So I'm mm-hmm. sitting here and the nigga's, person, me, my mother, everybody else. And I'm sitting there like, next. And I'm wondering where's this call again to, and Jesse lets him rock. So I'm, I was a little little aggravated by that. Not because of the caller, because the nigga was allowed to continue person out. I don't care if you crack jokes on me. Whatever. That's fine, because I could give it right back. Yeah. Now, why? Why are you so angry? What did I do to you? Or who or did I have sex with your mom, your sister? something. <laughs> and you guys would be for me. But to just not like me because of what I what I do, because you don't know who I am. You really don't know who what I represent or yeah. what I've ever done. It just doesn't make sense. Like it's like me saying I hate RG three. I hate RG three as a player because he plays for the Russians, not because he sucks. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I don't know RG three. He might be the greatest guy ever. You hate, like that's a very strong word. I've had, I had one idiot from North Carolina. I hate you. Um, they should fire you from you. How can you fire a partner? That, that's beyond what I. <laughs> it's like you know, you're a piece of shit. Yeah, this, yeah, that. Yeah, I'm like, money. You don't know me. You might actually 
get to know me and actually like me. And and every fan I've ever met has actually been like, yo, you mad cool, dog. I appreciate it. And, and I always show up. I'm always in the midst of the crowd. I always show up. And it's, this brings me to a story cycle. There was a guy, I'm not going to say his Twitter name, and he had told me on Twitter, and I quote, I'm going to, when I see you in St. Louis, I'm going to bust your shit open. No <laughs> He couldn't even tell you why. I, I, he just hated me. <laughs> so I'm in St. Louis. I'm, calm, I'm home. I feel comfortable. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm out there with Hitman and Verb, actually. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I see somebody looking at me. So now, I remember most things. So I'm looking at this nigga. I don't know who he is, but he knows who I am, obviously. Mm-hmm. And he's like, yo, what's up, man? I'm like, hey, what's up? How you doing? Give him a pound. How you doing, brother? Pleasure to meet you. So I'm very respectful. Yeah. And he's like, yo, can you take a picture of me? I'm like, yeah, man, sure, no problem. So I go to take a picture of me, and he's like, yeah, my name's Midwest Player. Oh, I finally already said his name. Yeah, whatever, I fucked up. And I was like, excuse me? And I'm like, wait a minute. Didn't you say that you were going to bust my shit open? <laughs> and he was just like, come on, man, that's all Twitter, man. And I was just like, <laughs> I'm a grown man that's not it. And I just, I smiled and I was like, you know what, it's cool. I wasn't even mad. But mm. if you know me, if you met me, I'm actually a really good dude. And it's funny because a lot of people are like, oh, you're all hard on Jesse. Yeah, whatever. That's fine. It's the show. I, if you guys even knew, I actually treat Jesse and I give Jesse a lot of good advice. I'm there for him when the nigga needs me. That's my nigga. But people that get all emotional, eh, well, it chokes, my nigga. It yeah. jokes. And if you ever, and the funny shit is with the Jesse thing is, when people meet him, they look at me and always tell me the same thing. Yo, no, I know exactly now why you act the way you act like on the show. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't lying. It's real shit. And I just tell people, like, my nigga, like, there's no, I'm not trying to disrespect that man or nothing like that, but. This is life. Like, this is who he is. The nigga's crazy. <laughs> they really be thinking it's an act for the show. I'll be trying to tell them, like, no, nah, he's not playing. He he be dead serious. No, there, there, there's something wrong. That, that nigga's definitely a couple moves short of a suit. Yeah, he's definitely, <laughs> he's definitely in play. Like, uh, Jesse's very special. But anyway, <laughs> I, I mean, what moves happened this week anyway with, 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 the, uh, with this uh, battleship? Nothing really. Like I said, people are waiting for the Night of Made Events trailer. Um, like I said, we're on it. Uh, we're working. We've got a lot of things. If we're about to drop a bomb for you fans that are out there, and I know and I understand and I appreciate that you guys are waiting very patiently, you yeah. know what I mean, for us to to make the next move. But believe me, when this, when this bomb drops, you guys are going to be extremely, extremely happy. Um, you know, we had to deal with a lot of things. We are from the New York area, so we want to do this New York, you know, these battles out here. And um, like I said, we'll be back on the road very soon. Um, I don't know, man. Like, Summer Madness, I think that'll be in New York. That's going to be crazy. Like, we already started lining stuff up for that. So Summer Madness 3 in August. So people that are trying to go to Summer Madness 3, I mean... Right now is actually your best time to even start suggesting matchups. And, and for those that don't think we don't listen to them, we actually do. I definitely listen to the matchups. Um, so, Summer Madness 3, August. It's going to be crazy. Night of Man Events 3, it's going to be crazy. There'll be something in between that that'll be crazy. Um, for people that like the female battles on, on the URL, um, Jazz the Rapper will be back. Um... Miss Hustle actually recently, if you follow Twitter, she had added me and, and, and said that that Jazz can't get to get that title of of whatever. I guess she was referring to the first lady thing, mm-hmm. and she said that she's the first lady, and if Jazz wants that title, which Jazz doesn't, um, she has to earn it. And and I respect what Hustle said because it just shows her competitive side, and, and I thought that was really dope. You know what I mean? So Miss Hustle is actually, um, she's after Jazz. So that, that's a pretty dope look. Um, 
Yeah. You've seen you've seen a lot of them. You've seen Hollow. I can't wait. You know, the, the Return of the Dawn. I can't wait for that. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, hopefully Lord of the Lost comes back. You know what I mean? Hopefully, um, you know, Jesse shaves. Uh, <laughs> you know, shit like that. But uh, I know this fans have got some calls, so you, you want to get some calls with it? Yeah. Uh, 414, are you there? Yeah, what up? Well, no, I got a question. Wait, before the, you go uh, from the middle, man. The, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, Chilla Jones and Str- that dude Strange, did they have a battle? Chilla Jones and who? Strange. Did they, did that battle ever go down with him and Strange? Yeah, they, you know what's funny? That's actually the first battle I booked for Chilla Jones in the URL. Actually, the first one he accepted. And I, I'm going to be honest with you, I hated that battle. Like, I, I I don't think they both were on their best performances. I think Chiller was very off. I told you Chilla, drop. I'm never dropping that battle. I hate it. I I, I actually probably burnt it. And, oh. I gotta keep it real with you. It wasn't a good battle. Hey, I think I think if y'all if, if y'all ain't got the uh the battle was already uh the the battle was about to be on Summer Man Three. I think y'all should get Chiller John with a shot at Summer Man Three, and I think his opponent should be conceded. Chilla Jones conceded. That would that would be interesting. You're from Milwaukee, right? I'm from Chicago. I just live in Milwaukee. Yeah, I live in Milwaukee. Why anybody says that? I tell them they're from Milwaukee. They'd be like, nah, I'm really from Chicago. I'm from uh, Yeah, I only been I only been living here I only been living in Milwaukee for two years. I only knew down here because I got a, I got kids down here. I'm moved down here and made for two years. Nigga, that's my city, nigga. I'm always up. I love it. I know what you always say. You just up there at the uh at the little club on the sixteenth. Yeah, you know, I'm always out there, man. I love it. They got a very beautiful woman that lives out there. I'm out there a lot. Don't. They got more than blue that one. They got plenty of beautiful women. No, they, they, I'm just specifically talking about one. So I'm just saying. <laughs> oh, okay. But, but, uh, okay, that's cool. Yeah, I want to see Cassie because you, uh, cause she do the, uh, the slow it down. And I think he invented the slow it down, but I think Chilla Jones would do it better than him. That's wow. what I want to see. Better. You know what's funny? Chilla Jones, after the Reve- Revelations battle with B-Magic and everything, Chilla Jones said he DNA won the battle with Chilla Jones, and B-Magic was supposed to battle conceded. I, I, I feel you. I'd like to see that, but I actually want to see Magic get conceded before I'd like to see that. Yeah, because he, he, yeah, he got the name flips. B-Magic name flips. Yeah, B-Magic yeah, is yeah. one of my favorites, man. Like Everybody knows B-Magic is one of my favorites. Like I think B-Magic is Matter of fact, so we just got an interview that's a really good interview on uh, URLTV TV right now. You should check it out. My man um, from Maserati Life is uh is, he's doing interviews through Skype, and um if you go check now, he has a new interview up with Chilla Jones, a very informal interview. You should check it out, bro. It's on URLTV. Oh, I just see, I, I just I just picked it up there. Yeah, I'm gonna go check it out. It's yeah, Chilla Jones. It looked like it was in black and white. No, it's actually through Skype. That's why it looks like that. But he did a really good job. Uh, the guy from Maserati Life, good dude. Okay. Um, and yeah, he's actually dropping my interview sometime too. We had I had like I don't have an interview with him. It was pretty dope. But uh, check, you like Chilla Jones? Okay. Yeah, 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 I'm gonna check it out. Okay, thanks. Okay, no problem. Yeah. Thanks. 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 Go to the next call. I gotta take this call real quick. Go to the next one. Hold on. Uh, nine one seven. You there? Hello? Yeah, what's good, man? Ain't shit, man. Chilling, chilling. Um, I just wanted to talk about it. Uh, first of all, my name is VS, by the way. Um, VS Styles, um, at Twitter and shit. But, um, I just wanted to touch a little bit on the Mad vs. Pat State battle. I know it was in a whole nother league, and I know how y'all feel about that, but I just want to get y'all opinions on what you thought about it. Um, I, I thought it was a close battle. I, I had, me, myself, I, I gave it to, um, let's see, first round I gave it math slightly, he edged him slightly in the first. Second round, I think Pat stayed won. And the third round was probably the, the most debatable round, I think. Well, possibly. I think that, I think the third round decides the battle. My, for, for me, it does. And I, yeah. I gave it to Pat Stay myself. Okay. Okay, I, I appreciate that, keeping the relationship. But did you, did you see how kind of Pat Stay kind of was looking nervous in the battle? Like when Mac was kind of touching on that real shit or whatever, and, and you know they kind of panned the the camera to Pat State's face, and he kind of had that like 
and look on his face, especially when he started going into the crack lines and shit like that. Yeah, like, I mean, that's he always looks yeah. like that, honestly. <laughs> he he got to always look like that. I mean, I, I felt like he handled himself okay as far as, like, presence or whatever. Um, I like that state. That state is actually my, my favorite MC over there on King of the Dot. And, you know, I... I, I, would, I would like to see him try to transition over here one day and see how he handles himself. You know oh, I like that state, but he got to stop smoking crack. That's really true. I, yeah, that's true. That's very true. <laughs> you know, yeah, I, I, just seen a, I just seen a blog. I'm sorry. I don't mean to um, cut you off call. How you doing? This is Norris. What's your name again? V.S. Norris. What's good? What's up, brother? I seen a, um, a blog, and somebody was saying that he's, that he recycled lines from his battle with um, what's the other hollow hand against Matt? Mm. How do you feel about I that? I didn't know that. I didn't get to see the blog. Okay, I mean, how do you feel about recycled lines? I don't mean to shit on on, <laughs> on Pat's day right now, but I just seen the blog. Like, I seen. I think it's on Vlad TV actually. That's where I seen oh. that. Um, okay. How How do you feel about that? I mean, I don't know who you put one by the way. Um, shit. Well. Like I'm, I'm kind of, I'm, I'm kind of with Psycho on this. I kind of think Pat State got it, but at the same time, I think they were overhyped and a lot of his lines. He got, he got that hometown advantage. He really cashed in on that hometown advantage. Um, mm. If you don't, if you, t- if you don't take that into account, then I'll give it to Math. But Pat State was kind of killing him with, you know, crowd reaction pretty much. But I, oh, but I do think Math, Math Hoffa's cadence kind of outshined him. He was looking kind of bothered by those personals, but like Psycho said, you know, that that's regular. Um, what what but personal are you referring to? Huh? What personals are you referring to? The crack smoke. Yeah, when he kept saying he smoked crack and shit, it seemed like he was bothered by it. Like he didn't want to dispute it enough, and he was kind of bothered that he was bringing it up. But you know what's crazy, though, my nigga, like, like to, to be honest, he, he put that out to himself. Like, yeah, he, yeah. He smoked crack. I mean, my nigga. I, I, I'll be honest. I'm from New York City, and, and the crack epidemic in the '80s was, was was big. I was a baby, to be honest. It's just I couldn't, I didn't live through it. But I remember going to my grandmother's house when I was a, when I was a kid, mm-hmm. and seeing crack piles everywhere. And I mean, these people look like fucking zombies. You had the coke, you had the coke, you had I mean the, the crack. And to me, like it's not something to play with, and, and I don't know if that's cool in Canada to smoke crack, but over here it's definitely not fucking cool. So I don't understand yeah. if you're bothered by it, but if you're bothered by it, money, like why the fuck would you put that out there? It's definitely not cool, but you 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 got to remember it's a culture it's a culture difference too. You know that was he he didn't grow up in the hood, so you know that's like true. in the hood that shit ain't cool. But you know, that's kind of, that's kind of how Hollowhand can yell out. I've been on smack my whole life, and the whole fucking place goes crazy. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, but you did make a the caller did make a good point though. Like I've never seen Pat stay on the road ever. I've never seen him in the uh, on the road. So yeah, I was I, I watched that battle, and I remember when I first seen it. I was kind of like, and then you know, it's pretty well documented when I when I say what I said. And after got a little upset, but he had every reason to. I wasn't moved by the battle when I first seen it. And it was because, really, the past day. Like, I thought past day second round was really dope. That's how I feel. Yeah. I, I, like, I love the whole, the, the ball jokes. I, I fucking, I, I was with Matt the other day, and I told him, I was like, my nigga, I was dying. It was mm-hmm. funny. You know what I mean? But a lot of the shit he said, like, he, he's dope. I just didn't think he was at his best against Hoffman. No. And I don't think he, he could have. A lot of you know he's he's he kind of comes up as a bully, and you can't bully that. Like it's impossible, man. Like yeah. I'm gonna keep it real. And I don't want to speak on another league battle, but that's how I felt with the short situation. Like my nigga, like people call that a bully. He's not a fucking bully. You know what I'm saying? He's just he's a nigga that if he feels a way, he just handles his business. That's the bottom line with math. You know what I mean? And that's not a bully. That's just a man that, you know, handles his business. Mm-hmm. You feel mm-hmm. me? So I don't think Pat was able to do that with math. But mm. his second round was fucking hilarious, to be honest. But um, I think Pat could transition, but he's going to really, he's going to have to really pick it up. 
Yeah, he he can't he can't think that recycle and line shit is gonna work in the U R as U R L because back to what you were saying, like I don't I think that that shows a lack of creativity. It shows that you're really relying on your 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 past self and you're not really living in the present. You know what I mean? Because I I spit and shit like that. You know what I mean? But when I'm in ciphers with people I've never been in a cipher with, and they tell me to spit some shit. It's okay, do I spit the shit I just wrote or do I spit some shit that I know they're going to feel because, you know, the general consensus of everybody that heard this verse. So I'm usually going to go with the shit that I got the most reactions off of. So if you're spitting your, your old shit, it's just showing that you're not writing on a day-to-day how you should be. Yeah. yeah. And one last, I've I, I seen Loda Lux. He was supposed to battle, um, so, I mean, pa- pardon me, but he was supposed to battle some white boy. I don't know. Who he was, um, who the who the white boy name was, but you ever know what happened with that, or was that just a kind of hoax or something? A white boy where? I I, I think it was across seas. I know. I think I don't. I see. Oh, you talking about the shoddy horror shit? Um, yeah. You know, I, I heard the same one as you heard. It didn't go down. Um, like I said, that that's kind of whack. I, I'm gonna be honest with you. I want to see Lux versus Hollow on hey, Smack. I yeah. Saw I don't want to see Lux versus anybody else right now. I want to see that. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, like, I, I don't think, I mean, Lux, you know, like I said, amazing MC. Him and Hollow should definitely see each other on Summer Madness 3. And, 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 and that's all I can say. I don't want to see him battle anybody else. I really don't. I don't want to see him against x Fact. I don't want to see him against T. I don't want to see him against Clips. I don't want to see him against uh, half of these guys. You know what I mean? I want to see with Apollo. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. That's just how I see it right now. Yeah. I agree. Let's uh, let's go to another call. Let's go 908. You there? Yo. Yeah, what's good? Yo, what's good? Uh, Psycho what's Noise, what's good with you? Calling, calling, what's good? Living, my nigga, living. Um, I got, I got two questions. One question is... um. A little while ago, when Calico was on the Battle Rap Arena, he said he was coming back in the uh, spring. Can you co- confirm that or not? If he's what? He said that he was um, back on that stage in, in spring. Yeah. On spring I mean, he, he, I mean, I spoke to Calico. Um, and he's definitely, he's definitely interested. I mean, he's definitely on schedule. He's just got to handle his, his, his uh, issues. But Calico will be back. You know what I mean? I just can't give his opponent up. But uh, he will be back in the spring. All right. That's what's up. And uh, my second question is, I just want to get your opinion. Like, what do you think about um, Rosenberg, Raw, and Big T out of nowhere saying they're done with battle rap? Like, the fuck is good with that? I, honestly, I don't care. I'm going to keep it real with you. Um, I love Big T. as like a little brother. And, um... I think him not battling would be a huge mistake. Um, I definitely think he'd be a lot more missed than Rosenberg. Um, I think Big T's accomplished a lot in battle rap, but at the same time, you got to look at it like, my nigga, this is what you're known for, right? You're just going to just just throw that all away because why? What are you going to do? You know what I'm saying? I think he no needs to battle and continue to pull out his music. And just stop lying, money. I would take it with a grain of I would I would take it with a grain of salt. That's probably just how he was feeling that day. And you ask him that same question next week, he'll probably give you a different answer. So, you know, I'll I'll wait before I you know what I mean, put any validity in what he said. Alright, alright man, that's pretty much it. I'm a, I'm a loyal listener, man. Y'all keep doing your thing. Alright, that's what's up. Thanks for the call. Alright, let's go, uh 908, you there? 908? Yo. Yeah, what's good? Yo, what up? What's the word? Nothing, man. Um, I'm just listening, but, uh, yo, Norris, uh, this is Matt Randall, but, um, you know when Matt's dropping that pot juice joint? We actually spoke about it the other day. He's just trying to knock these fucking six battles out, bro. Uh, he's almost done. We're probably going to touch up the tape. Um... Maybe add a couple of features, do this and that, and then put it out. It's a really good tape. I've heard the majority of it. Um, you got some heat. So, you know, very soon. Uh, I'd say early spring. 
Oh, all right. Look, I mean, I know y'all really like talking about battles from other leagues, but he's been out here on, on a killing spree, you know what I'm saying, Norris? Yeah, he's a talent for Duke, man. He's, no definitely been the he's definitely been the hardest worker this year so far. You think he'll be, you think he'll be on that Summer Madness 3 court? I know he's taking a lot of battles this month and shit, but... Uh, he wants to be. I mean, this is Mav's whole train of thought. Like, he's the most competitive dude I've ever met in my life. And, and a lot of people talk about Michael Jordan and how competitive he was. And Mav kind of has the same mentality, bro. Like, <laughs> like you, you could tell how for, I could beat you in, in ping pong or basketball and this, and he's going to try to prove you wrong. And ever since that calico debacle, He's been very, very more oh. to prove people wrong. And, you know, I wouldn't be mad to see him rematch Calico. I know he wants to do it. You know, I mean, they got a lot of respect for each other. And um, I think that's going to happen. And um, Tom Madness 3, he definitely should be on it. I'd like to see him battle his ass on it because last year, a lot of people were spreading these rumors that Math wasn't supposed to be on there, which is all lies. Math was supposed to battle his ass on Tom Madness and um, I'd like to see them battle at Summer Madness this year. Mm, yeah, that, that, would, that would be crazy. You going out there to see him battle, isn't it? What happened? You going out, uh, you going out to, to see him battle, isn't it? Um, I can't. It's my mother's birthday, and um, oh, you know, like, I got to do mommy, you know what I mean? No, I'll see you. All right. All right, thanks for the call. All right, let's go um, see what it is. 713, you there? 713? Right. So, um, 314, you there? Yeah, what's going on? Y'all can hear me? Yeah, what's good? Hey, what's going on, y'all? Um, just want to touch on that, um, Matt and, um, Pat State battle. Mm -hmm. Um, I think, I don't know, I think Pat State may have edged it, but I mean, if he was cycling... You know, I, I give it to Matt, but I like that battle. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It, it just seemed like, you know, it was a real hip-hop battle. You know, it wasn't like animosity, like no drama, no bullshit or whatever. But I like that battle. Um, I like Matt. To me, Matt is like one of the top five. And just to touch, top ten or whatever you want to call it, but just to touch on what you were saying, um, Noise with that bully shit, I can't stand that shit. I, I yeah. can't stand that shit. Like, people that say that they don't like math or whatever because he's a bully. How pussy do you have to be to say some shit like that? <laughs> I'm saying because a lot of these dudes are, are bragging about a murder cap and all this shit. Yeah, yeah, we murdered around here. Nah, nah, nah. But then they turn around and say, I don't like him because he's a bully. Like, how you saying <laughs> in the same breath? And you a grown-ass man and not like some nigga that you see on YouTube because you think he's a bully because of some... Anyway, I just had to get that off my chest, but, um, who was Matt battling next besides Hitman? Oh, um, I mean, actually, he actually just booked a battle with Shotty Haller. Shout out to Don't Slop. I think oh, it's yeah. March 16th. But Ooh. In Texas. Uh, yeah, Matt will be against Shotty Haller. Uh, I mean, you got to respect Matt, man. That'll be his fifth battle. Oh, no, I think he's one of the most slept on. In the URL. I mean, and it's because of a dumbass reason. I guess an old ass battle or whatever. A lot of people didn't like that, but. You know, what, you know what's crazy about Matt? When you watch the Dose battle, he explains it in round three. And mm -hmm. uh, round three was very, very, very put well together. Matt has, he's, he's probably the king of the third rounds. And against Dose, he actually brings up whole thing and he speaks about why people don't like him. And I think you're going to like that. It's, it's really dope. What is that? You know when that's dropping? Um, I'm waiting on Smack. It should be dropping soon, though. Oh, most deaf, most deaf, most deaf. Yeah, like I said, he like he definitely in my top ten. You know, for him, I like a lot of real cats. Him, you know, Calico. Uh, B Magic. When B Magic battling? I, I'm. I mean, I I've got some names for him. Um, oh. I'd like to be conceded, but if not conceded, I'd like to lock him in with Rich Dollars. I think him and Rich Dollars would be a dope battle. Oh, most of most of And I want to see um, like no, a, I Rich Dollars is very slept on. Yeah, Hell yeah. yeah. Like a real deal and a chiller would have been, would be cool. I'd like to see that. But I ain't going to take up too much of time. Yo, I'm a big fan. Shout hey, out bro, to you. Bro, whatever you want. This is your show, man. No problem. <laughs> no right. doubt, man. For real. Take care, y'all.
All right, that's what's up. Thanks for the call. You know. All right, let's go. Uh, eight six zero. You there? Hello. Yeah, what's good? Yeah, what's up, Psycho? What's the word? What's up, Norm? All right. What's up, brother? Just got a question. Um, do you think guys? Um, do you think guys like um, Sirius Jones would be back to battle again? Like it'd be, it'd be really like um, a good battle if you put him like against X Factor, you know? Because I, I heard like I, I see Matt um, blog and Matt's talking about like Sirius Jones. He turned down ten thousand dollars to not battle him. So, <laughs> what do you think about that? Say that again. I'm sorry. I said, like, um, do you think Sirius Jones will be back? And um, if he, like, uh, the good point if I put him against, so, like, he'd be, like, against the X Factor? Do you think, do you think, guys, uh, like, th this kind of thing can happen? Probably in the future, probably some madness, you know? Because X, X Factor is really underrated, like. Who versus X Factor? Sirius Jones. Sheila Jones? Sirius Jones. Oh, Sirius Jones. Um, I, would, I, would, I would love to see that Sirius Jones as X Factor. Um, mm -hmm. X Factor is another dude that um, I agree with you, very underrated, but very, very um, an amazing yeah. battle. Sometimes when I do my top five, I forget him, to be honest with you. And, and yeah, I think, yeah. yeah, I think he's going to be like really like, a good battle. Like, X Factor, most likely, like the guy who sold tickets too, you know, like um, he doesn't, he doesn't oh. get like a lot of battle. Probably our, our URL league, like this one battle versus uh, like O-Raid, he take it lightly. I think he lost, yeah. So if you put him like against like probably like a good vet, I think he will he he pull up like he he will put up a lot of a lot of work. You know what I mean? Yeah. All right. Oh, that's about it. Yeah, yeah, I got sales. Thanks. I right, appreciate it. No, that, that was a good question. That the X Factor is very underrated, and people do sleep on. I love to see X Factor versus Sirius Jones, or that would be that would be some shit. Yeah, they actually have a, they actually have a lot of words for each other right after some madness too, too. So yeah, I would I would like to see them get in the ring. Nah, that would be dope, bro. I, I'd love to see. I'd be honest. With you. Yeah, let's go. Um, four one zero. You there? Hold on, hold on. Before you go to four one zero. I got to answer this question from my man V.S. Styles on Twitter. He asked me about Rain Man on, on, on uh, the URL. Um, I'm not against it. I've had multiple conversations with Rain Man. The problem with Rain Man is this. Rain Man battled in the MTV era, which was like 99, 98. I don't fucking remember. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, he hasn't battled in a long time. A lot of these, he's not relevant in a sense to a lot of these battlers, and they're not going to battle him. So I've offered him one off. I've offered him whatever. He just feels that like his name uh, warrants him these bigger names. And I'm not saying it doesn't, but the fact of the matter is, these people that he wants to battle don't see him as relevant, and yeah. and um they won't battle him. And, and and he's his his pride, his ego, is not going to allow him to battle anybody he deems that's not uh, you know a legend. Like he is, and um, you know, I would love to have the Rain Man on, on the URL. Like I said, the problem is he wants big names, and a lot of these people just don't know who he is in a sense. And no disrespect to Rain Man, I'm not trying to hold you or try to play you, but this is the same conversation we've had. Me and him have had this conversation, man to man, um, mm -hmm. and this is what I've told him. So you know. I'm not opposed to having a rain man here, but at the same time, he has to realize that he isn't in the MTV era no more. This is a different era, and you have to make a name again for yourself, my nigga. Some people don't. I mean, not comparing him to Newborn. Nobody wanted about a Newborn, and Newborn had to swallow that pill. And um, now, Newborn is hot, and now people want to see Newborn. So, you know, sometimes you just got to prove that you're that dude, you know? Mm -hmm. That's true. All right, let's go. Four one zero. You there? Yo, what's up, y'all? Oh, um, good. Chilling. For uh, no, a couple of battles I want to see on Summer Madness is uh, K Shine versus X Factor. I think that'll be dope if y'all can set that up. 
And we need that. I had told Beasley just the other time he was on here. We need that surf versus hitman for summer madness. That's what everybody's been talking about. We need that. So try to make that happen. Surf versus hitman, I'd like to see that. I'd definitely like to see yeah. that. That'd be big. Yeah. yeah, but we want it on that Summer Madness, though. Don't have them battle on a... I think Summer Madness would be the perfect fit for them. So try to make that happen for us, man. But, yeah, that's all I wanted, though. Okay, that's I'd, love, I'd love to see that battle, too. I, mean, I agree with you 100%. Yeah, that's a hot battle. That'll yeah, be man. probably the most viewed battle ever, to be honest with you. Besides <laughs> Hollow and Lux. <laughs> yeah. So I'm at three is shaping up to be some good shit. That would be a good battle. Let's go um, 6-1-2, you there? 6-1-2? Let's go um, 2-8-1, you there? Hey, Psycho, after 10-55, I got to do another interview, so you might have yeah, to go yeah, to the show. Hello? 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 Oh, oh, okay. Hello? Yeah, yeah, two eight one. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, we hear you. Hey, what's up, man? What, what up, Norbs? Hey, this is uh, this is Chad Sepulveda. What's good? What's up, brother? How you doing? Hello? Yeah, what's up, my nigga? Hey, uh, uh, Tom Montana is a problem, man. And uh, we yeah, need to see him on the main stage. Very, very soon, man. Very, yeah, very soon. Um, that, that one line he dropped, he, I got that black bazooka. I call it Daylight's Dick. OTBVA nigga. Heard that? Huh? What the hell is he doing? No, okay. Next call. Um, six seven eight, you there? Hello? Yeah, what's good? Yeah, man, it's uh J Boy underscore ATL on Twitter. Um, I was gonna uh say my little matchup for some man is it was basically what y'all already said, uh that that surfing uh hitman would be crazy. That Lux and Hollow would be crazy. I don't know if Jazz should take this uh Miss Hustle thing before Summer Madness, man. She needs to prove herself and just go and get on Summer Madness, man. What's your question? What y'all think about that? You you said Jazz got to prove herself for Summer Madness. I'm saying I'm saying because she keeps saying how she's so scared to battle with Summer Madness, so she don't think she got it to battle with Summer Madness. And I was thinking the uh, Miss Hustle would be at battle for Summer Madness. So what y'all think about um, taking that before jazz, Summer Madness jazz, or away for Summer Madness? There's one thing about Jazz I know. Like, jazz is, is very competitive, and I'm literally like, well, she's ready. You know what I mean? I know yeah. 100% that she's ready, and I think her hustle will make female history. I think that'll be the biggest female battle in history. It'll be bigger than Lady Luck for Remy. Um, I think that'll at two best at the position, whatever whatever you rate them. Um I hope it does happen at Summer Madness three. I think it I think that would be the perfect opening battle for Summer Madness three. Right. Uh, you know, hopefully it goes down, man. I think I got a lot of respect from this hustle. I think this hustle is very special. Um I also think Jazz is very special. I think um witty wit wittiness, jazz is is the top theme I've ever heard in terms of the way she, she formats what she writes. Um, exactly. The bars, and she got an amazing delivery. It's like a contrast of, of both worlds. To hustle's more of a street girl. Dad's the college kid. Uh, it, it, has a lot of, <laughs> it has a lot of good angles for that matter. Yeah. I mean, I think it'll be great. Uh, and uh, what else I had? Uh, the B-Magic and, uh, and Conceited. That I has to, to go down Summer Madness. That has to be on Summer Madness, man. Magic been doing his thing. Like he needs to be on that big, big stage with like conceited. Like that, that would be stupid. I, I don't, I don't really want to see that one on the one off. Yeah, you know, I agree. I couldn't, I could not agree with you more. Um, conceited versus D Magic has to be a Summer Madness three. Um, I mean, that would be the most punches ever thrown in a battle. I want to see who. How punches who, and how and you think do in front of the uh, big crowd? Because Magic has been in front of big crowd since uh, since Detroit, and we all seen how that went down. Even though he was spending some shit, I mean, he just I mean, wasn't feeling the, I'm, he, the crowd. Was, was, wasn't feeling him like that, but he didn't got he didn't, he didn't stepped it up like crazy since Detroit, though. 
I'll be honest with you, I don't listen to the crowd. And then different crowds look for different things. Like, the, that was the Midwest, and they're more of animation and certain things, and that's one thing I learned about the Midwest crowds as opposed to the New York crowds. The New York crowd loves me magic. I don't think a New York nigga can beat the magic. Right, question, though, North. Question, though, North. Yeah. Like, when, I, when I'm when battle Chiller, though, like, that same performance that he had versus Chiller, like, if he would have did that same type of performance in Detroit, though, like, they would have went crazy. So it, it ain't really about, you know, I don't, I don't how know they wasn't feeling him, but he, even got, he stepped it up to what he did in that Detroit. Performance, that performance was in New York. New York loves the match. Like, yeah. I tell you, they love him. Like, we, I think the Magic should have been born in New York. They love him in New York. <laughs> like, this is not a That would be crazy. You have uh, New York left. Yeah. Oh, what did say? I said he had a bunch of niggas, and think about it. New York hates Avery. You know what I mean? But they love this fucking guy. He had a bunch of people saying, "I'm from the motherfucking loop in New York." That's yeah, that's kind of crazy, right there. That's kind of crazy, right there. Uh, I was gonna touch on this uh past day and uh math shit uh. I just seen it for the first time yesterday or whatever, but uh, they wasn't really reacting to math shit like that, man. Like, uh, I don't think he had the right cadences for uh, for uh, King of the Dot though, because King of the Dot just like the flow and shit like that. They don't really like the the punchlines and all that. Like, they just like the lyrical little flows or whatever. It was it was, it was a little weird. It was a little weird because they didn't really respond to math too much, but they loved that ice. Like, they just find almost everything had ice said. So, I don't know. Like, and the whole Halloween shit that, that he did got, like, the loudest crowd reaction. I think the craziest line of the battle was Matt when he said the whole shit about the seas and, and uh, paddle boats. Like, that was the crazy. That was crazy. And the crowd didn't say nothing. Like, I was at home like, damn, that was crazy. Nobody responded. Like, that was stupid. Yeah. yeah. I'm from the yeah. motherfucking loo. From I swear to God, when B Magic raps, I think I'm from the <laughs> loo. <laughs> I ain't throw my niggas, man. Hold it down, man. Take a All right, thanks for the call. Let's go. Uh, Eight three two, you there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all can hear me? Yeah, we hear you. What's good? Yeah, what's up? Hey, yo, I, I have, I, I just, I have a question right quick. I just want to touch up on something. Like, I just saw the Mickey Fax and Chilla Jones uh, prediction blog about, you know, the St. Louis card or whatever. And this is what I want to ask y'all. Do y'all feel like, because what they were saying a lot was that, you know, Verb is going to be at home and Hitman, like, they're going to be at home. So that's basically like saying that's why they were going to win, because they were at home. Do you feel like that, that just because the person has home field advantage that they're going to automatically win? You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I be having conversations with, with my partners, and they be like, but, like, they bring Rex up. And they say, oh, they say, where is it? In New York? Oh, Rex won. Rex won. And I'm like, you only win for that day. Like, you only win in the room if you there. But the Internet is forever. You know, you get, you get what I'm trying to say? Yeah. I've, I've, I, yeah, I've had this argument a lot of times. Like, this, yeah, just I agree with exactly what you just said, like, that I remember having this conversation with Bird a lot of times, like, you know, like he shouldn't focus on the crowd as much and just focus on his opponent because once the footage comes out, if he was doing his thing, the internet ultimately is going to be the ones who's going to decide who wins and loses the battle. Right, and right. So like I don't I don't I don't I don't really hang my hat too much in the home 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 field advantage too much type thing. I mean it could affect the person's performance. But that's only if you allow it. Uh huh. And, yeah, and that, and that was my whole thing. That, that was my whole thing. I was just like, I was like, it, it don't matter where you at because eventually it's gonna come out on the internet. And me, like, cause I'm from Houston, and so like, if if it's in St. Louis, and you know what I'm saying, say if they booing the hell out of out of math, you know what I'm saying. But if I hear math bars, and I'm like, ah, right, yo, they just biased. They they bug it. Math won this battle. That's basically what's going to stand because everybody else hear it too. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. I just, 
I just always wonder, like, what was y'all take upon that, like, the home field advantage or – because I really feel like there's no such thing as a home field advantage if you come with them bars. Like, although they, the predictions that they made, I was pretty much with them, but that was just because I feel like that person was better. And you know mm. what I'm saying? But – uh. And to know, like, I don't know if you remember, I was the dude, I had tweeted you, I think it was yesterday. I was like, uh, you probably ain't going to remember. I was like, uh, it was like a sub, a sub tweet. I was just like, tell, tell these niggas to stop dissing URL when they get an event and see if it go good. You know what I'm saying? You probably, yeah, you probably ain't going to remember. I actually see that shit. I see that shit. I mean, yeah, you, know you know what it is, my nigga? I keep it real with you, and, and I don't acknowledge people. And I think that irritates them. I think people want to be seen as your competition as opposed uh-huh. to being your competition. And I think it bothers them when the only competition we have is ourselves. To be honest yeah. with you. And, and, and like, I don't, I, don't, I don't sit here thinking about nobody else, but apparently I can't get out of people's minds. And, yeah, it, you know, it, 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 it's kind of irritating. It's crazy. I, I said you another. Know, I was just like, man, I was like, people say, people say that you bias, that this, that, and the third. I'm like, man, well, you know what? Just they say the shit anyway. Just go ahead and talk your shit anyway. You know what I'm saying? If that's what they, if that's how they feel, go ahead and talk your shit. Like, yeah, nigga, this is what it is. This is what it was. Fuck it. You know what I'm saying? Because they're going to, if you be like, yo, I'm not biased, blah, blah, blah. They're going to be like, oh, nigga, yes, you is. Ah, right, you can't stop what a person thinks. So since this is what you think, let me give you a reason. Because, I know y'all like to speak up on it. The cards be good, but if the battles don't put forth an effort to put up on the show, you just, it, 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 it don't mean shit. And that's what I see when I look at it. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, oh, yeah, the card was excellent. On paper, it was tremendous. But the niggas be like, ah, oh, fuck that. It's a URL. So fuck it. But, hey, that's just me. Yeah. All right. All right. Thanks for the call, right. though. Bro, that's yeah. a good point. The call. Let's go, um, 4 5, you there? Yeah, man, what's up? What's good, son? Uh, shit, this is, uh, Matt from, uh, Oklahoma City, man. How y'all doing tonight? What's up, brother? Hey, cool. You there? Hey, first yeah, and man. foremost, man, shout out to OVT, OTBVA. I know you don't, yeah. North might not like us. Hey, North, I heard you say one time you don't, that we don't like you. That's not true. There's people on here that stick up for you. Well, I have to say it again. I said uh, I heard you say that OTBVA doesn't love you that much, but or don't like you that much. But don't worry, man. We got people on here to watch out for you. No, it's cool. Yeah, there's, one one guy, on you. there's one guy that can't stand me. I don't know why. Because <laughs> it's the internet, man. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking kids are all hopped up on bath salts. This guy is so bad that he was, he was DMing my girlfriend trying to get a number. This is how bad this guy is. He's a fucking stalker, dude. Like, like my nigga, like, what the fuck, bro? Like, oh, no, those guys on girls, man. That's, that, that side goes hard on girls, that's for sure. They're all 14, man. That's all good, man. Like, you know, I love everybody at OTVBA, and, and, and I have no problems with nobody there. I mean, whatever interviews yeah. or support you guys need, I'm here, man. Just hit me. We're trying to take over the show tonight. We're going to see how we do. <laughs> no, I'm actually going to get off tonight, but you guys are more than welcome. Anytime <sighs> next week to take over the show. I will do Man, battle up on I can we, we will do better than Jesse Retard. I promise you that shit. <laughs> <laughs> we, could, we could do it on Monday if you want. No questions asked. <laughs> Real shit? Real shit. You got my word. All right, man. Let's do it. Oh, and tell Conceited that fucking... I'm from Oklahoma City. And tell Conceited that Kevin Durant would fuck him up. He's like five foot two. Tell him that Kevin Durant's <laughs> arms... His arms are as long as your whole body, homie. Listen, listen, listen. I, I got to ride, ride with my Brooklyn brother Conceited, man. I'm oh, just man. Know. And just to let the heat know, this is our year. And if not this year, the next year. So just let him know. Listen, listen. I'm, I'm, also a, uh, I'm also a LeBron fan. And Miami will be winning again. Hey, I'm a LeBron fan too, but Kobe Kevin Durant, or, Kevin Durant yeah, he did, he did. Kobe don't Kobe Kobe, you know, he's gonna go out and yeah, I I, I blocked him in the all star game, wah, wah, whatever. But LeBron will make the playoffs. I'll be again. surprised if, I'll be surprised if they don't make the playoffs. And if they do, they're gonna have to end they're gonna end the season on a run and they're gonna be dangerous, so But uh it's still yeah. our year. 
Shout to OBTVA, OTBVA show. I can't even talk. I'm stoned as hell. But I'll let y'all get on with the show. We know Monday we can do the OTBVA right. VA, uh, uh, show. Uh, I mean, uh, Psycho, I actually got to do this other show. You can end it now or take a couple more calls. It's on you. Okay, I'll take a couple more calls. Let's see what's yeah, good. Got it. All yeah. right. Let's go uh, five, 525. You there? 525. Five. So, 812, you there? 812? 813, you there? Can you? Yeah, 813? Yeah. Hello? Yeah, what's good? Yeah, yeah what's good? What, what's good? Eight one three. Yeah, can you hear me? Sound like you got two people yeah. in passed in though. No yeah, still yeah. on? No, nah, Noah's actually had to get ready to go. He had to go do some things. Oh, damn. I was gonna tell Noah you know, Noah's the most hated dude that ain't did shit wrong I ever met that I ever heard about, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, people. Yo, what about uh so this so this is a battle that I think it should go down, man. Reed Dollar versus Surf. Ain't nobody still talking about that or that, that lost win or fight or whatever? Yeah, yeah, that's still a possibility. And what about uh, what about Head Ice versus Mayor? That'll be a, that'll be an interesting battle. I wouldn't mind seeing it myself. I don't know if they'll do that, but you know, Head Ice when he went up to Canada, you know, what I'm saying he was all right up there, man. He he did his thing up there. I, I like what he was doing, so it showed me he still had it. So I think you know, with Mayor being hungry like he is, I think I, I think that'll be that'll be a nice little battle right there. Yeah, I agree. I agree. That's a nice matchup. But that's that's all I wanted to say, my nigga. I'm good. All right, that's what's up. All right, let me try eight one two. You there? Let me try you again. Yeah. What up? What up? What's good, man? <clears throat> yeah. Uh, how many events y'all got going on? I mean, I know the summer madness, but it seems like all these other leagues doing events, and everybody's waiting for URL, man. I mean, what's really well, good? No. Well, you know, niggas is a little bit backed up because of the whole Armageddon situation and everything. But um, we're about to get back on track and everything. We got we got a few of this lined up. So just just be a little bit more patient. We coming. All right. Um, one more thing. I know a lot of a lot of times, uh, Norris be talking about bringing K King of the Dot rappers up to the URL, man. Me honestly, I don't think it's a good look, man. Because seem like when when word gets out like that, when URL battle is going over there, they don't show them no love. And, you know what I mean, I think they kind of feel a certain way about the artists over there if they would come over to URL. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't know, man. It just seems like they're doing their thing over there, and it's kind of like a different scene for the URL. I don't it's think they're getting it just. It's a different crowd. It's a different crowd. They... They they support jokes more than URL do, and URL is more about bars. So I don't I don't even think every king of the dot MC over there can translate. You know I believe certain ones can, but I don't think everyone can because a lot of them are real joke heavy, and that wouldn't really fly coming over here with just a whole bunch of jokes. The people would get bored. Right, right. One more thing. I think uh, it will need to battle uh, Hollow to Don. That's a battle that I think need to happen. And Cassie saying, like, oh, he's an up-and-comer and Hollow doing this. And, like, I don't know. I don't really – I don't think I should put Hollow on the pedestal like that, like he the illest when I don't really think his battles is all that. Like, like Cats is treating, like, Hollow and Loaded Lux like they're the rock. Like, they can just come in and do two events like the main shits. And ain't got to do nothing else, like you know. It's you know, it's supply and demand. You know, they 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 both got a lot of fans, a lot. They in a lot of people top five. So like, when you ask a lot of people top five, it, you'd be hard pressed not to hear them two names pop up in there. So that that's what that's all about. Right, right. But it's like I feel what you're saying. But like for me, being from Midwest, I really ain't got a lot of footage on Lux, so 
I know he put it down in the battle scenes in New York, but there ain't mm -hmm. a lot of footage to go by. So it's like, that's like y'all, like, the proof situation. Don't nobody know about what proof did, really. You know what I mean? He won mm -hmm. a few blaze battles or something like that, but nobody got footage on him. So it's like hard to give him the props he deserves. He ain't got no footage and ain't seen it. You know what I'm saying? Well, we are in that we are in that era where you got to have stuff going on on film, or else you know it doesn't really hold a whole lot of weight. Uh, hence, why a lot of people don't get as much respect as they probably should. I uh, feel like they, you know, should should get or whatever. But yeah, I, I hear what you said. I hear what you're saying. Yeah, but I'm just saying, like somebody like we see it. Ill Will's nice, so like put him up there with the big dogs. I don't see like. If you keep on giving him up and coming battles, he could be wasting some of his good stuff on somebody who could who he could like destroy a major opponent with. You know what I mean? That's all I'm problem saying. Is, problem is trying to get somebody on the main stage who will take it ill well without with with his resume not not quite being what everybody else's resume is. You know, a lot of people want to compare. You know, a lot of people want they they want to battle somebody whose resume is kind of either equal or like at least so they want something out of it when they when they get the battles. They like it, it's more it's it's not always about skills anymore. It's more about what what am I getting out of this battle? And yeah. you know, the it, it kind of sucks away the competitive nature a little bit, but you know that's just what it is right now. Right, right. Just one more point about that though. It seemed like. You gotta make a like like as many battles as B Magic took, and then for them to get a big shot against somebody, then that shot that they want against somebody, they be like, all right, I'm done with battle right now. So a chance that's been battling for that top spot might not ever get the chance to battle somebody because they, oh, I'm done with battling now. I'm done. You know what I mean? So that's the way I kind of look at it. So if you see somebody who's hot, try to make something happen, and if you know what I mean? Yeah. That's yeah, that's definitely. what I'm saying. All right. That's what's up. Thanks for the call, though. Yeah, no doubt. All right. Yep. Let's go. Um, 917, you there? 917? Yo, yo, what's good, man? What's good, man? Yo, I just want to um see if y'all could bring on my boy Star Almighty there to the PGs. I'm not familiar with him. Where's he from? I, I think he's from, um, I don't know where he's from, but I just know I saw he had an unlimited with um, PC. So look up on PC versus Star Almighty. Okay, I'm going to do that. Yeah, that dude's crazy. What league was that in? I believe that was a grind time. Oh, okay. Yeah, but All check right. that out for me. Okay, that's what's up. All right, my All dude. Right. Thanks for the call. All right. Let's go. Um, 863, you there? 863? Let's go. Yeah, what's good? What's good, bro? Colin, Colin, what's the word? Colin, well, I actually, you know what I'm saying, just tune into the show, you know what I'm saying, say what up, you know what I'm saying, thought somebody was on tonight, you know, because I haven't seen you on and shit. Uh, let me ask you your your personal um, opinion. What do you thought about the Mad versus um, Stay battle? Oh, I actually talked about that earlier. I actually had Pat Stay edging it two one. Mm, well, not after I seen what I seen. I, I, I'm gonna change your mind now. You know what I'm saying? I know this gonna sound <laughs> weird and shit, but um, I, I, I was I was scheming to um through online and um. I seen a, a battle between Paste versus Shotty Howard. Yeah, I, I heard um, I, um, Norris brought to my attention that he was recycling right. bars. Or what, um, that's what you're about to talk yeah, about. That he used that, that he used against Math on that Math battle. Now, let me ask you your personal question because I know Norris ain't nowhere near this. But do you think that 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 you know just using a, a recycled line? Could hurt your performance. It's not cool. It's not. I don't. I'm not. I'm not a component of people recycling bars from one battle to another. That's not cool. I didn't know about it um, until I'm just hearing about it just now. Like, you know, during the course of the show, I'm gonna go check it out 
and go see what everybody's talking about after the show's over. And, you know, if I find out what everybody said is true, then, yeah, that'll probably change my mind about the battle. Yeah, because, I mean, I, I'm not, I'm not going to lie, though. Um, like, when I seen it, I was like, hold up, did he just say that? I mean, he said that, the, the, the and I'm going to tell you which line was it, too. It was the line that he said, uh, um, that he slapped, oh, my God, it, I think it was, um, the one in the rip that he said that he, you know, he ride to the hood, with, you know what I'm saying, with a whip and whatnot, with a, mm-hmm. that line. When when I heard that, line, I was like, hold up, didn't we just say that against Mass? I was like, oh, shit. Um, also, another thing, another thing also that I, I, I want to ask you, um, when is the new, um, when is that battle between those and Mass coming out? Soon. Soon. Expect it soon. I can't give you a date, definitely, but expect it soon, though. Yeah, it should, be, it, should be the next, it should be the next battle to drop on URL, so expect it soon. Yeah, I'm, I can't wait, man. I ain't even gonna front. Shoot, Armageddon um, again, left me with a taste in my mouth. Like, yeah, I want to see more battles now. <laughs> it was a good, it was a good battle. It was a real good battle. And, was, and, and, uh, and Yang, and, if you're a math fan, if you're a math fan, you're gonna enjoy this battle. All right, cause I am. I, I fuck with math, man. I think he's one of the lyricist um, MCs out there. You know, I can't say rapper no more. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you still, you still got the the, the MC thing on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> man, right. man, you better start dropping more blogs about that shit too, bro. <laughs> All right, that's what it is. That's what it is. All right, thanks for, All thanks right for man. Y'all yeah, enjoy your night, man. All right, thanks a lot. Thanks for mm-hmm. coming. Let's go. Uh, let's see, four one four. You there? Welcome. Yeah. Uh, where do that uh Jesse Week and uh Adi Boom battle drop? Oh God, uh, I I have no clue. I have no clue. Um, it, it definitely is going to drop after the math battle drops. That's for sure. I could, I really can't tell you exactly when. Hey, um, uh, I got I got one more question too. Uh, so is it all almost done with the audio tune for that uh, John John Live versus uh, QP battle? You know, no, it, it's it, um, the audio still isn't the way we would like it to be. Um, I know Beasley is considering dropping the battle anyway, even with the audio being messed up, because everybody knows the situation. Um, I, I'm not sure what's going on. I know the, that battle is in high demand, and and the old red big cannon battle. Um, so they they probably are going to end up dropping those battles anyway. But yeah, what about KC and KC and Skull? What about KC and Skull? KC and Skull too. Yeah, that's another one. Yeah, that battle too. Yeah, oh, they they, they probably one. they probably gonna get dropped. But the, again, you keep, they keep in mind the audio isn't the best. Okay, that's cool. As long as I can hear what they saying. Yeah, well, yeah, that's the that's the issue. <laughs> so yeah. Oh, that's a, okay, that's all, right. all I want. That's what's up. Thanks for the call. All right, let's go. Um, the seven one nine. You there? Yo. Yeah, what's good? Hello? Yeah, what's good? Oh, nothing. Just, uh, I don't know if you guys, uh, because I, I know Norbs don't support UW, but I was going to say, Matt Hoff is in the fucking building, man. I, I think he body shotgun shit. Like, can you guys talk about that shit? Um, well, I... I saw the battle, I, I could say that. I could say I saw the battle, and I could say I did have Matt winning. I didn't think it was a body. Uh, well, not actually, a body, but you know what I mean? I just thought, like, he was just so much doper, and they kept fucking with his mic, and, like, it just kind of, I, I don't know, it just kind of pissed me I off. Actually, I actually had Shug winning the second round, but I <laughs> had Matt win 2-1. Yeah, it was just dope. Matt Hoff was, like, he's just on a roll now, and then, like, he's going to battle... Battle Shoddy Horror, like, in uh, March or whatever. You guys should have math on, man. You guys ain't math, have math on in, like... Math is, the, math is the hardest working MC right now. That would be his fifth battle in three months. So, I you mean, know? That's, that's saying something. Hell, yeah. You guys think that you guys might be able to get math on? Like, one of these days? He's my favorite yeah. battle MC, but... Shit, yeah, it's, it's like been, like, a year and something since you guys have had him on, shit. No, it hasn't been a year, but, yeah, we definitely gonna try to get him on, though. <laughs> Yeah, I think it's shit. 
when was the last time I was, like April, last April or something like that, or May? No, we actually had him on during the summer. We actually had him on during the summer. I don't think that was oh, the last really? time we had him on was, like, during the summer, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's cool. It's been a while, but, yeah, not not quite a year. So, uh, have you guys, when's the next, or what's what's the next battle you think that uh, that's going to be rescheduled, like, for uh, the, the Armageddon shit? Um, I don't know if I should say, um, but it's definitely going to be one coming up soon. I, I don't know if I should say what it is. I don't know if I should talk about that, but yeah, there's definitely one that should be happening soon. That's real soon. What'd you y'all, y'all hear about it once it happens. I was going to say, do you think, uh, do you think the O-Red versus, uh, Rex kind of like ruined the, the, the Rex versus Disaster coming up or what do you think? Um... Honestly, I think that battle right there probably was the best thing that could have happened to Disaster, given what, given the situation, what happened with him over at King of the Dot. Yeah, exactly. So I, I think if I think if uh, common consensus is that Rex lost the battle, and you know, um, if he had walked away with a clear win that day, then it, it yeah, it, it might have, it might have. I think it would have affected the battle a little bit slightly as far as like perception goes. But now, I think, I, I think it's, they're going to be on an even playing field going into the battle now. That's what I was thinking. So I also was, think, I also think Rex better be careful because now disaster has a, some extra ammo that he didn't have before. Yeah, exactly. But shit, man, I thought the battles were dope. Like, you know what I mean? I, I support like URL more, but you know what I mean? I just thought like, I actually was kind of pissed off because like I paid thirty dollars for the goddamn stream and it took like two days to get the fucker up. So I was uh, like, what? Uh, yeah, I can't really talk about that too much, but yeah. <laughs> no, right. I feel you. <laughs> yeah, but th- thanks for the call, though. All right, man. All right. But um, let's go nine one nine. You there? What's up, psycho? What's good, man? What cupcake? <laughs> what's going I know on? I'm going on right now. What's going on? Hey, much. Hey, man. What's my man from uh Philly, man? They used to be on 106 and Pop. He, oh, he was the uh, champ. Yeah, the light cool. skin dude, man. The light skin dude that got an uncasted. What's his name? I'm sure I'm blank yeah. right now. Damn, let me is that tip of my tongue, dog. Um we ain't talking about those, did you? Nah, now you battle on Cost on uh King of the Ring and Big and them shit. It was like uh, a one round of uh for Huddy Combs. What what Huddy had died and shit. You ain't you you, you sure you from Philly? Yeah, we live in Philly. Be like, I'm Philly. I ain't from there. I just get it done there. Shit like that. That's uh-huh. that's the slope. Oh, okay. I'm I'm drawing blanks right now. You guys didn't. It'll it'll come it'll come to me. But uh, the dude from uh Vegas, y'all gonna bring him over? The white boy, Fet. Um, I ain't hear anything about it yet. Um, I I think Noah's right him though. Um, we definitely looking to bring some new artists over from all over, you know, looking to expand out a little bit more. So look for us to bring some, some new guys over soon. I got you. I wouldn't mind seeing the facts versus, I wouldn't mind seeing the facts versus, uh, uh, Sway. Or, or like the, uh, Sway versus Calico, some shit like that. Honestly, I want to see Sway versus Bird. That's what I. That's me personally. That's what I want to see. Man, Bird ain't gonna battle Sway, man. He's too busy playing that just for me kick in his head, man. That nigga ain't gonna battle, <laughs> battle uh, Sway, man. He's scared. I, I man. know, but you know, if you ask for my opinion, that's that's who I want to see Sway in the ring with. That's I want to see I'm, it too, dog. Yeah, I want to see it too. Bird in the nail shop somewhere, man. He 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 he, he, he already know what he's gonna get when he get in there with Sway. <laughs> All right. Thanks for the call, though. I got to get to some more of these calls before I get out of here. All right. Thanks for the call. All right. All right. Let's go. Uh, let's see. 804, you there? Hello? Yeah, what's good? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Is this that nigga? 
<laughs> it's the illest nigga in the bricks. It's your daddy, daddy, fool. What's good, what's good, my nigga? Uh, Where hey, you been at, my nigga? Uh, Hello? We, we, been here. we been here, man. We been here. We was busy I'm on Tuesday. We... Huh? I said we was busy on Tuesday, but we here. Oh, no, I'm talking about two, a couple of shows you want on that, John, my nigga. Oh, well, yeah, last Thursday, yeah, my girl had me kidnapped on Thursday. It was down to us there. You are that girl. Oh, word is born. My nigga, you know we old goddamn hip-hop heads, the goddamn best movie on, my nigga. I know you remember Black and White, my nigga. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that, that shit on now, my nigga. Nigga getting decent. But anyways, and shit, y'all know who y'all need to get on this show. Jesse Rick and fucked it up last time, my nigga. My nigga Ice, man. Yeah, yeah, we we definitely trying to get Ice on. We we both had him on at one time and it, it fell through. We're going to try to get Ice on back on again. Yeah, that, I'm you know. talking about that wolf love, that real nigga shit and shit. Goddamn, other than that, goddamn, I had some shit and shit, goddamn, I had to ask, but nigga stuck into this move and shit. Other than that, like, fuck it. It's on you all, my nigga, the illest nigga in the bricks, my nigga. All right, that's what it is. <laughs> All right, my nigga. For sure. All right. That's what's up. Thanks for the call. All right, let's go. Uh, let's see, 252, you there? 252? 330, you there? Yeah. Yeah, what's good? Hey, uh, shout out to the, uh, I, I just wanted to tell that old boy that, uh, Cat Who Battle, uh, Un Casa, he's talking about Bones Brigante. You remember that? Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I mean, that wasn't what I wanted to talk about, but I just had to throw that out there. All right. But, uh, <laughs> nah, what I wanted to say, though, man, I'm, uh, I'm loving how they, uh, how y'all going about, or, you know, I mean, URL going about bringing, uh, bringing the up and comers. It's, it's almost become the new focus to me, because, I mean, all the, uh, duck in and all that other shit that be going on amongst the top tiers and shit. This is like the greatest shit is that y'all looking and putting a lot of energy towards uh, bringing motherfuckers through. That's that's the cats who needed to. And like I I've, I've been gassed off of the uh, how Norris been responding to like the motherfuckers calling about hundred bullets or calling about T Riley and shit. Like that shit's yeah. really been like dope to me. You got you always gotta look to the stand. You can't just like. You always gotta look at the stand. If you don't, you'll you'll be stuck. You'll be stagnant. You'll be, exactly. Just like you said, especially with everybody ducking this person and or, or not wanting to battle this person and everything else. If if you just depend on all all of them, then you know this thing will die. So we always look at the stand. Right. And do you think it's anything that could? Uh, I mean, I mean, people talk about it a lot, but I mean, it, it seems like it needs to, something needs to be done, like in some kind of way. But I don't know how you could do it. To just do something about that whole, you know, that whole aspect. I mean, the whole thing with real deal can't get a battle to save his life. You know, those type of things. Like, I mean, I understand the obvious obstacles, but it's like it's to be some level where you just tell a motherfucker, like, look, it's the battle you get or you don't get shit. You know what I mean, or something. Yeah. Especially among certain hard. levels. You know what I mean? When it's we're hard. talking about. Yeah, it's hard to make people battle people that they don't want to battle. You know, but. It, and yeah, people like Real Deal and Ron is gonna have that problem over here. Right. Because, I mean, you know, I understand the obvious uh, things, but I mean, it's some other people you see, you can kind of tell that that is the imp certain systems being put into place where they're like people are being made. I'm not saying made, but you know what I'm saying. Like, uh, I think I mean, this I would, would be the older cat. Working out. Yeah, I would love, I would love just to be able to just say, okay, well, you know, well, this person got to battle that person, and this person got to battle that person, and this is who you got to battle. But it's just not realistic, you know. It's just, you know, it right. can't happen. I would love, but, uh, to, I would love for it to happen that way in the perfect world. That that's the way it would go down, but it's just not realistic again. Yeah, I mean, a lot of that's what a lot of a lot of shit's developing. I mean, like a lot of people have been speaking on it. Uh, tonight and on, in the past, like how people will just sleep on a battle because it's in a certain league or whatever and, and fuck around and get bodied or whatever or give a shitty-ass performance in general. 
I mean, that's kind of like what was, you know, coming up. I just think all them things are playing against them top cats in the opposite is playing in the favor of them up-and-comers, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Because when you get B-Magic taking the real deal battle, they still in the show automatically, you know what I mean? I think, and I think I think the main stages are hurting themselves because I, cause the whole time that they're, you know, picking and choosing their battles and, it's like, the, you know, every year go by, they're taking less and less battles every year. And right. like you said, the upcomers, they taking all these battles, and they're starting to become the main stage people. Like, they're starting to become the people that everybody's wanting to see. Exactly. And before you know it, the main stage people, if they ain't careful, they're going to become irrelevant. So Yeah, they, I mean, I don't talk about them that much, personally. You know, I mean, if I'm talking about who I like at the moment, the, they don't come up as much. You know what I mean? If I talk about Magic or talk about uh, Riley or Dirt, or even strange, somebody that's exciting, you know what I mean? Uh, except for, you know, just some old, we're going to throw the best, you know, our, our our mediocre performance for, you know, for the cheese or whatever, versus motherfuckers that's out there actually going in, you know? Yeah, I agree. All right, thanks for the call, though. Oh, no doubt, man. All right, Peace. Peace. All right, let's go. Um, three, four, seven, you there? Yeah, yeah, you hear me, Psycho? Yeah, what's good, man? What up, what up, man? How's everything, man? All right, cool. Yeah, yeah, um, I think now, nah, but on, in that, um, the Math and Pass State joint, I, I actually got Math winning that, man. Okay. Yeah, so, yeah, I think I got Math, um, the first round. And, um, the the, the second round, I, I think both of them was, like, kind of off, in my opinion. Um, mm -hmm. I, I, I can edge it to, um, to Pass State. And in the third round, I got math because I feel like if you if you watch the battle and you listen, you, um, in past the third round, only only like towards the end, I guess I would say the last sixteen balls, he was really like sort of spitting. The the the, the rest, he was it was like it was some lame jokes. It, don't get the, the jokes was funny and stuff like that, but it wasn't it wasn't like hitting hard though. Yeah. Yeah. If, if you go back and listen to it, and and and, and so you said that that. The Versace shit, whatever, spin around 360, like a Versace um, logo, whatever. And then after that, he started really, really spitting after that. But before that, it was just like, it was just all some regular shit he was just saying. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's, um, he's not very complex or whatever with his bars. But, you know, like, I, I don't know, I like that stay. Like I said, he's my favorite MC over there. Yeah. On the dot, you know, um, so, but, he, you know, he, so, you know he, he kicks jokes like the rest of them, but yeah, he doesn't. Yeah. He's not all about jokes, so that's why I kind of like him because he's not all about jokes. But he definitely does joke around a bit. Yeah, yeah but the the, 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 um, the battle it, it was okay. It wasn't like or I, what I thought it w would be, but it was okay, whatever. And plus, like I, I also want to give Matt credit for his um his, his um his rebuttals. I think in yeah. the second round, I believe. He, he, and the thing is so crazy because, like, people was complaining, oh, his, his rebuttal was garbage and this, that, and the third. I'm like, yo, the man rebuttal, at least give him credit, you know what I'm saying? Like, damn. Mm -hmm. it, 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 people really just be, I, I noticed that, like, people really hate, like, Rex and, and Math. I'm like, yo, damn, these motherfuckers just rebuttal, you know what I mean? Whether, whether it's pre ran or not, whether he just rebuttal some shit or whatever, get the man some credit. I don't know. Even before the shit, matter of fact, before it dropped, whatever, and people was watching the favorite you joint, people, oh, Matt got killed, Matt got killed. I'm watching this shit, I'm like, yo, how you say he got killed? I'm like, the man is spitting. You know, I, I, I never got that shit. It's the same shit with the, with the, what happened over there, the UW joint, you know what I mean, with, with the Rex and, um, and Red. Me, personally, I, I, I think Rex won that, man. Really? Yeah. I, 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 I watched it on the pay-per-view, man. I think Rex got that. I think it got 2-1. I give Rex the first round, and the second round slightly to Red, and I give Rex the third round. You gave Rex the third? That's the one you gave Rex? Yeah, I'm, 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 yo, yo, I'm, I'm watching it. I'm, oh, Rex, I kill, Rex, I kill. I'm, 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 I'm seeing this shit on my Instagram, my Twitter. People are going crazy, and then, and then when I watch it, and I'm, I'm listening, and I'm listening, I'm like, yo. Person, I'm be real. You're the first person I heard say Rex won that third round. You're the first yeah. person I heard say that one. Yeah, only I think I think only thing that that, that saved Red in that second one probably that that Jenny Five line or whatever. But other than that, like I, I actually give, give it to Rex. That, that's my that's my opinion, man. I, I, I respect that. I respect that, man. Yeah, right. but, but, but no. yo, um, 
No, no. Um, when is that? That the, the, the Tom Montana and um and, and a lot of Jay joint happening though. You know when? March. March. In March. Actually, a few weeks. Yeah, a couple more weeks. Couple right, more right. weeks. All right. All right. Hey, man. Much love, man. All right. Thanks for the call. Anytime, man. Let's go. Uh, three, four, seven. You there? Yeah. Yeah. What's good? Yo, man, Book P Fury, O T B V A, B X all day. What's good, Psycho? What's good, man? Chilling, chilling. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it light as always. You know what I mean? It's getting, it's getting late now. It's right now, so I'm just gonna keep it real light. I'm gonna ask you a series of questions, uh, real short, rapid fire questions. They're actually the closing questions that James Lipton asked all his guests on Inside the Actors Studio. So check this out. What is your favorite word? <laughs> What's my favorite? <laughs> What's my favorite word? That's a random ass question. <laughs> um, shit, I I don't know, man. <laughs> I use a lot of words, so I don't know. Um, it's usually, actually, it's usually what's your favorite curse word? What's your favorite curse word? Fuck. No doubt, no doubt. What is your least favorite curse word? <laughs> Uh, where these random questions come from? Damn, I don't know. From James Lipton, yeah. nigga. All right, uh, I'm gonna skip. Uh, I'm gonna skip three and four because those can be misconstrued. Uh, what sound or noise do you love? <laughs> I, I don't know, son. You, you hit me with some damn psycho. Question. You fucking this line of questioning up. <laughs> I don't know, man. I've, I've been I've been sipping on this brandy, man. You ask me these random questions. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. Here's another one. All right. Uh, what profession other than the one you're already in would you love to attempt? Uh, what would I love to attempt? Mm, I would like love your dream job. The, I would love to be the general manager of the Washington Redskins. How about that? That's actually a pretty dope dream. All right. Uh, what job would you never want to have? What job would I what? Would you, what job would you never want to have? What job would I never want to have? Yeah. Um, Jeffy Rika's ticket. Um, um, caretaker. <laughs> <laughs> How about that? <laughs> oh shit! All right, so you don't want to be a special needs home attendant? I feel that. Yeah. Uh, last question. Last question. If heaven exists, what would you like to hear God say when you arrive at the pearly gates? Bring your ass up in here, nigga. <laughs> no doubt. All right, church. This has been a, a book for you, uh, colon and uh, leave JDM alone. And shout out to my nigga Kettle Corn Carl and all you new niggas can rest in piss. Water. <laughs> all right, thanks for the call. <laughs> that was crazy ass call. All right, let's go. Uh, six four six. You there? Six four. Oh, okay. Let's go. Four one four. You there? What up, man? What's good, man? Man, chillin' dog. Hey, that last call is funny as a bitch. Only because I watched the <laughs> shit out. No, I watched the shit out of the actor's studio. That shit is dead funny. Hey, man, what's good, though, Psycho, man? It's your boy from the 414. I've been cussing out all the folks, man. Um, all right. Hell, man, shit, I'm really just calling in to shoot the shit with you, man. You, I got to be honest. When you was gone and you let Jesse have the boards cuss, he be answering the phone. Whack is a bitch. And you're like, hi, you're on with Battle Lab Arena. This is Jesse, <laughs> Three Star Norse. How can we help you? Like, <laughs> oh, my God. oh, my God. I'll be sitting you know, there I like, I need to hear that like, show. I need to go back and listen to that show. Cause no, I, I swear to you, he had the same intro every fucking time. Like, you, I know you just say, like, you know, the area code was good. This motherfucker was, like, saying the area code, how are you doing tonight, welcome to the show. Like, I'm sitting there like, man, no intro about long as a bitch, cuz. <laughs> hey, man, <laughs> I done heard a couple cats talking, man, and I was just going to touch on some of the shit they said. Like, uh, the Pat Stay in Mass, man, what I think a lot of cats don't understand is uh, Pat Stay is over at King of the Dot, so a lot of that joke shit works for him, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, because they real joke heavy. I thought it was funny as a motherfucker, man. He said he like, kicked somebody's helmet off, like the retarded kid's helmet off. I yeah, that shit was hilarious to me. Like, I'm not a sensitive person like that, so that shit was the type of shit I like to hear. If you gonna joke, joke about kicking some retarded kids around. Sounds fucked up, but 
whatever. <laughs> but yo, psycho man, let me run this idea past you guys. Like, in the I know dude was talking about how people are ducking and shit like that. Like, you ever think that they'll ever do like a league tournament, like where you know King of the Dot will put up their best five? You are you know, I would, five. I would like, I would, I, me personally, I would like to see URL have a tournament one day, just like a one-day tournament, like a elimination tournament. I know when I was coming up, when I was coming up that one, I know out here in Newark we had a we had a tournament style like um, competition that they did once a year called Lyrical Combat, and it was kind of the same way, the same way 8 Mile was set up, pretty much the same way 8 Mile was set up, you know, tournament style, everybody put their name in the hat, and whoever name you pull out the hat, that's who you battle. So, right. like, and I, w- I would like to see URL one time. And it will eliminate a lot of the people ducking this person, ducking that person, because you don't even know who you're going to battle. And it will eliminate a lot of personals, too. But the personals will be gone, too, because, like, you don't know if you're going to be battling certain people, so it'll be hard exactly. to write for everybody. Exactly. So, I, I, personally, well, I personally would love to see that kind of tournament, like, either that kind of tournament or even just the best of the best, like, you know, with King of the Dot, you know, they got they got five solid battlers over there, you know what I'm saying? And so do, like, even over in the U.K., they got a league over there, too. So it's like, why not everybody put up their best five and let them go to work, you know what I'm saying, see who who will take out who, you know what I'm saying? Like, if URL came with their five best, whether it be, like, Mass, you know what I'm saying, you know, Lux, Verb, or, you know, whoever, Big T, Good. They, let's say they take them five, and then King of the Dot bring over Pat Stay, Hallahan. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Much, like, whoever they can pick, and then they come over, and it just be five battles that night. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Best out of five. And let's yeah. let them go to. I think that shit will be crazy as hell, but like straight up. Mm-hmm. And that, that's just an idea I always throw around because I be sitting there like, yo, I know these cats is ducking, like. As much as I love some of these top tier niggas, man, they duck it because, like, you can't tell me that, they, like, your competition level ain't there no more. I feel like once you hit a certain level, they stop being hungry. They stop having that competition because when they yeah. were coming up, they you no, know, oh, man, I don't necessarily want to go at Gibbs. It, it, the, they, was ready to tear, they was ready to tear whoever head off they put in front of them. Dude, any, they came up here and battled in the cold because they didn't give a fuck who they was at. St. Louis mm-hmm. just wanted New York. Then out of nowhere, everybody's head got big. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Everybody. I'm talking about New York cats. Like, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Rex yeah. is the only one. I, I hate Rex. Like, I hate Rex. I hate everything about Rex. I hate that thing in his ear. I hate the fact that I feel like he sucks like Mook Dick all the time. I fucking hate mm-hmm. that nigga, cuz. But I got to give him a lot of respect because at least he's out here taking cats you know what I'm saying, a different league, smaller league, whatever. He's just out here hungry, and he's a top-tier dude, but he's touchable. Like, some of these yeah. guys feel like touchable. I agree. You know what I'm saying? I Like, the, I want to see Swave and Verb. I'm a Verb fan, you know what I'm saying? He's an asshole. The niggas sell fights, right? And I go, oh, yeah. It, it's like, you know, a lot of people are like, oh, he cried too much, he do this. But, like, everybody is going to defend themselves if people are saying they lost. I don't give a fuck who they are. But if he going to come on and he still can sell a show, he can still, when you, no matter if you want to see him win, lose, get kicked off the stage, punched in his nose, get his perm pulled out, whatever, you want to see Verb. Yeah, I you know agree. What I'm saying? but. I ain't going to hold you up, man. I just wanted to throw that at you, man, shoot the shit with you. You know, it's 414 all day. I'm from the ill mill. Seth Daddy on Twitter, S-E-P-H-D-A-D-D-Y, man. Get at him. All right, that's what's up. Thanks for the call. Yeah. All right, let's go. Uh, 252, you there? 252? Okay. I think that's the same dude. Keep calling back. 919, you there? Nine one nine. All right, let's take the last call of the night. Let's go. Uh, Eight three two. You there? Eight three two. Yeah, hello. Yeah, what's good? You there? Yeah, can you hear me? 
Yeah, I hear you. What's good? Oh, no. Nah, uh, I, I I called earlier with uh, just asking about the um, what you think about that home field advantage, what's the name? But, uh... Oh, okay, all right. I got... I got, I got, I got something else for you though. What's that? Okay, uh, like I thought, I thought about like you, like they did Summer Madness two, the Night of the Legends or whatever. Like it, it was two, it was two more people. I thought they should add on there if they could have got them, which is Jay Mills. Yeah, I, I totally agree. I, I would love to see Jay Mills on the card. Okay, so who, who would you, who would you like to see Jay Mills against? Because I know who, who I would. Well, I know, I know Big T wanted to battle him. I wouldn't mind seeing Big T battle him, but who I would have preferred him going against would have been somebody yeah. like a conceited. I would have preferred to see him go against a conceited or somebody like that. Oh, conceited. See, for some reason, I feel like him and Verb, their yeah, styles would have matched up better. I don't know why. I would like, like to see Verb and Verb, too. I would like to see him and Verb, too. That's not a bad matchup. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? And and, a dude, and I heard the dude call in earlier about, like, saying how uh, – how we shouldn't how we shouldn't put hollow and look so high up, you know what I'm saying? And um, you know, give throw him in the battle throw excuse me, throw him in the battle like Gil Will and and, and uh and, and you know the lower tier dudes like you said he wouldn't take it. But here here's my what's this my question to you too. Do you feel like resumes do you feel like a resume mean anything if you get your ass whooped? Um yeah, your resume still counts. I mean, your resume still counts. I mean, everybody. The way I see it, if you, if you got X amount of battles, you you got a lo- You probably got a loss up in there. Like, I don't I don't see nobody undefeated that has you know has battled more than five times. You know what I mean? Like, that's, that's, that's true. I, I feel like everybody's got an L. So, like, I mean, you know, I think I had this conversation. Somebody on Twitter hit me up and said, um, if you if, if a person loses a small league, should they be allowed to come back to URL? And I was like, yeah, I I think so. Like you know, like yeah. LeBron, if LeBron played a, a D league game and lost, is he not supposed to go back to the NBA? Like yeah, yeah, you know, like you know, people take L. You know what I mean? And you see, and you see, and it for me is different. It's like I feel like that. Okay, yeah, you you can you can battle the best. But if you steady losing, it's like what? What does that mean? You know what I'm saying? It's just like okay, it's just so, like me. Yeah. you got to have some wins in your resume too. Now you know your resume can't be all L's. Like <laughs> if your resume okay. is all L's, then yeah, your resume yeah. don't really yeah. mean too much. Yeah. Oh, okay. okay. And I know it's and it's because like they, I, I was just thinking about uh, when Verb had called last time and the dude was trying to get him to, to be like, yo, you should battle Swave, you should battle Swave. But he kept he kept saying like, you know, well. This is the reason why I won't battle Swave. Well, not even why I won't battle Swave. This is the reason why nobody put up the money to battle Swave. You know what I'm saying? X, X, X. And he was like, well, and at the same time, Swave resume is not good in regards to, like, killers. You know what I'm saying? And I think I'm the only person in the world who feel what he's saying in regards to, look here, like, it's just like if you if you put on, if you put, put in work to do this and this is what you're known for, why should I battle you just just for the sake of well, I will say this. Well, Swave also has more decisive wins than Bird. That's true. Bird but, has but, a but, lot the people, but, the bat- but the people that he battled, let me keep it G, the people that he battled, he was supposed to beat like that, though. Name one person who Swave battled, who you'd be like, ah, he might get, like, ah, that he, he might be Swave. That's not always that's 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 not all sway fault either because a lot of people don't be wanting to battle sway. It's like if he yeah, if nobody true. wants to battle if if nobody wants to battle him, how is he supposed to build his resume up? That's true. And so yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's like it's 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 a it's it's hard. You know what I'm saying? It's hard because mm-hmm. I think that I think that verb and sway will be real good. I really do think it'll be real good. But it's like. Verbs he don't want to take, he don't want to take because I'm wondering. I'm like, I'm like, okay, but you will take Cortez, but he hit me. He was like, they dropped the bag for Cortez. You know what I'm saying? He was like, he was like, they paid me money for Cortez, so I'm going to battle Cortez. He was like, the only other person who 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 bat, the only other person who battled more killers was Arsenal and Red Dollars. And I had, I went back and I looked at, it, I was like, well, I mean, he, he got some truth there. Yeah, I mean, Arsenal's resume is impressive. Bird's resume is impressive. 
Um, I, I, a lot of people might kill me with much mook resumes and presses. Um, <laughs> people out there that got impressive resumes when you look at it. Yes. But they, also like get, though, but they also, in order for them to get those resumes, though, they also had to get a shot. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, that, that, and that's what I was going to say. That's what I was going to say, too. But you got to look at it, like, say, even when Verbnum was coming up. When Verbnum was coming up in, in up on the battle scene in URL, that they, the, who they consider, like, top tier, they were the only people in it. So they had no choice but to exactly. battle, they, battle them. Exactly. You know? Exactly. So, so that's why I'm so saying, like, yeah. If if, if 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 URL was the way it is now, when Birdman was still coming up, and they and the big dogs would have been like playing Birdman them out, like, well, you already got your resume up, then Bird resume wouldn't be what it is today because nobody would be giving Birdman a shot. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Like, so it's, yep. you can't really, So the whole resume thing is like, eh, you know, it's kind of hard to really. I, I don't like people, you know, like leaning on that as an excuse of why not to battle somebody. It's like uh-huh. cause somebody eventually gave you a shot. You got yeah, to start giving other people a shot. You know what and, I mean? these, so, and, and these fans, man, hey, we got to do something about these these fans who, who I who who, like for me, honestly, the people are gonna kill me when I say this. Like I'm one of the only people who feel like T Rex is overrated. Not overrated to the point where he's in, he just trash, but overrated to the point where he's in. People putting him so high up because I feel like he just aggression and and stage presence. That's it. And I like ball. To me, he, he don't say nothing. It's just hard. And people gonna kill me. Like I know, like my cousin and looking at they gonna come up in the room and probably shoot me in my head. Like you stupid. <laughs> but <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? But it's just like because I was just I was just looking at the battle with Verb. And I just was like, I don't. It's like I, I don't get it, man. I just look like I don't. It's ironic how shooting can make a nigga pass. I was just like that shit was dumb. I was like that is. I was like that's dumb. He said the same. He said some of the same shit in versus ill. It's ironic how if I shoot, he'll lay up in a casket. I was, I don't know, bro, but it's uh now side boogie on Twitter, calling from Houston, Texas. Get at me, you know what I'm saying? It'll be easy, man. All right, that's what's up. Thanks for the call. All right, I'm gonna go take a couple more calls. We got a little bit more time. Let's go. Uh, Six oh nine, you there? Yeah, yeah. What's going on, psycho? Shoot, I'm just uh tuning in, man. So I really don't know what uh what's going on, but I was looking into the uh to the last call, so. I guess I'll pick it back on what he was talking about like, as far as, like, the, uh, the resume. Like, mm-hmm. the dude, I think, like, Rich Dallas don't get a lot of respect that, uh, that he deserved, man, because if you look like he got one of the best resumes out there right now. Uh, agree. You know agree. Say it again? I said I agree. Yeah, man, but, I mean, like, people just, like, they really be trying to play him and stuff like that, and, um... When he battled Tech now, like, well, like, what's your thoughts on that? Because, you know, at first when I watched it, you know, like, I thought, uh, I thought Tech Nine, you know, I thought Tech Nine went in. I actually thought he edged him, you know, two to one, but, you know, I actually watched it probably, like, three or four more times, man, and I was, like, like really listening to Rich Dollars, and it, I, it, I don't know, man, he, got, he might have got him. Rich, at, like, Rich problem is Rich got bars. Like, nobody questions that Rich has bars. Rich has bars. Right. And at, at the time, he's gotten better with this, but at that time, he lacked stage presence. And he at, and he was battling somebody who was on top of their game with their stage presence, and, it, and, and Tech Nine was on top of his game with his stage presence that night. And, that, right. and he, beat him, he beat him with his stage presence. That's what he beat him with. He, he, he didn't outball Rich. He didn't outball Rich, but, yeah, again, his stage presence was, was so commanding that night, it was hard to deny him. Right. Uh, I, all right, so I got a uh, I got a question for you. Then. So, like, what uh, what battle do you feel like like feel that's out there right now that has like the most replay value? I still gotta go with JC Chiller myself. Yeah, like, yeah. I just I like yeah. I just, I just never get tired of watching that battle. I I, I like to watch a few battles. There's a few battles I actually like to watch over and over again. But that one right there, yeah, I I, I could wear that battle out. They must have got. They must have got at least about four hundred views from me alone. <laughs> nah, man. Do uh, did anybody actually wish a top five? I don't have a top five. I'm, oh, yeah. I, I don't have a top five. It's too hard for me to really 
it's too hard. I got, I like I like too many people, and it's hard for me to crunch them all into five into five right. people, whatever. So, no, nah, I don't I don't have five five. I, I don't have favorites. I don't I don't have favorites. You know what I mean? I, I, I'm a, I'm a fan of the sport. Right. You know what I mean? I, I I love the sport too much. You know what I mean? So what you have? Have, I might have a favorite of another league. Like, you know, right. like, you know, like I said, Pat State's my favorite old king of the dot. You know, like, Shotty Art is my favorite MC from overseas. But, right. that, you know, that's other leagues or whatever. But when it comes to this URL shit, you know, I just, I'm just a fan to hold, you know what I mean, coach all together. Like, I don't really, like, you know, like, I ain't Jesse. You know, Jesse got his little favorite. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> right. yeah, he be wilding. All right, all right. Yeah. So this, this is my last question. Uh, it's like, as far as like other leagues and stuff like that, like do you follow Queen of the Ring like that? Like do you have a favorite over there oh, that yeah. you like to watch? Oh yeah, uh, ooh boy, you trying to get me in trouble? <laughs> 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 I got a lot of, I got a lot of, I got a lot of them that I like. Um, I, I, love, I like Shane Ashley a lot. I yeah. like, uh, I, I like Misfit. I like Couture. I, I like Miss Hustle. Of course, I like Jazz. You right. know. Um, uh, yeah, there's a, it's a lot of them I like too. There's a lot of them I like too. I like Miss oh, wow. Miami. That's another one. Miss Miami, I like her. She up and coming one. I like her. Um, yeah, I, I, I like a lot of them. I like a lot of them over there. I'm a fan. That's what's up. Yeah, that's what's up, man. I know you're trying to get some more cars, and I appreciate you plugging me in, man. All right, that's what's up. Thanks for the call. All right, what's up? All right, let's go. Um, eight three two. You there? Eight three two. All right. Let's go. Four one four. You there? What up? What up? What's good? What's good, man? Checking in from the four one four. Just had a question for y'all. Do you think that battles in certain venues can affect the outcome of a battle? Like, if you're in a small yeah. room to a big room, do you think that better suits certain battlers? And do you think yeah. there's a battler? Uh, if there were three battlers, you had to pick where it didn't matter the venue. Who would it be? I definitely feel like the venues could matter with certain MCs. Like, 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 Goods. Goods is way better in a smaller room than he would be in a bigger room. Um, Chilla Jones it would be better in a smaller room than he would be in a bigger room. Um, it, it's, yeah, it, it's definitely like, um. See, I think Charlie the Cena would be better in a small, in a smaller setting. I believe, uh, yeah, uh, another one, yes, Casita too. Charlie Chris, it doesn't matter. Charlie Chris is somebody who doesn't matter. You put him on a big or a small, you put him on a big stage or a small room, he's going to do his thing. I, Howard the John, I think, is the same way. You put him in a big or small room, and it, it wouldn't matter. Certain MCs, it doesn't matter. Certain MCs get an advantage when whether they're in a bigger room or a smaller room. I think Tech Nine does better in a bigger room than a smaller room. Right. Right. Um, I agree. Yeah. I think so Rex can do it going either. I think Rex can go in either platform, small room or big room. I think Rex is like that too. Yeah. I yeah. think Rex is like that. And, and I almost feel like you should have hung up on that other caller saying T-Rex is overrated. That's probably one of the most <laughs> reckless comments I've heard in 2013, fam. Real life. I understood what you was doing, being quiet and letting that man say his piece. But sometimes you got to cut some of these cats' mics off, man. Like, that was reckless. <laughs> I mean, how are you going to say a man is overrated that everybody want to see and everybody checking for it? And got bars. T and the thing is too, the the need to the T Rex need to be respected for, he ain't never ran. I hear these I, I hear these grown men asking other grown men about their views before they can battle them. Yeah. Like, I, I agree. Rex Rex does take on all comers. Say what you want to say about him, he does take on all comers. That's all I said. That, I mean he talk crazy, he do his thing, but that man backed it up. He kinda like the Floyd Mayweather if you want to keep it real. He talk, but he walk. Yeah, yeah. He 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 definitely yeah. He doesn't run. He doesn't run. He he doesn't turn down to me battle. So yeah. <laughs> I mean, he's to be respected, man. I just want to call in and say my piece, man. Peace to all y'all, man. Respect the movement, act, man. We we pop it here in Milwaukee too, man. I appreciate Norris and all them stopping down here, man. Showing us love, man. We just want to know Milwaukee support URL, man. All right, that's what's up. That's what's up. Yeah. All right. We enjoy the sport too. Thanks for the call. All right, peace. All right. Let's see. I've got one more person here with a question. Eight three two. You there? Yeah. What's up, hello? Yeah. What's good, man? 
Yo, what's up? It's uh, it's Craig Swayze. They uh, O Red bodied T Rex. <laughs> he he bodied him. Yeah. Me personally, I think now this is my opinion. Me personally, I think the only debatable round was the first round, and that's just my personal opinion. I I think you know somebody told me Rex won the first round, I wouldn't kill him. I, I gave Red the both down the second and the third. But I mean, he he just degraded him, and he. And I, I'll never look at T-Rex the same again. Yeah, I mean, I I knew it was a dangerous battle for Rex just because, given the situation, I mean, because O-Red is, I hear a lot of people saying Rich Dallas is underrated. O-Red is underrated like a motherfucker, too. Like, people never mention him when they talk about the top fives or none of that other stuff. And me, personally, I think he's the best coming out of my state. That's just my personal opinion. And, yeah. you know... That's not knocked at other Jersey MCs. I just think Red is just dumb nice like that. Yeah, he's nice, man. He has bars. But uh, I was going to ask Norbs, what's up with that chick, man? I see you with some new chick now. What's up with her? Uh, he actually been with her for a while, but yeah, that's his, <laughs> yeah, that's his shorty and shit. Are you going to wife her up or what? What's good? What y'all do for Valentine's Day? Uh, what did who, who do? What they do? I don't know what they do. Oh, Norbs ain't here no more. <laughs> No, no, no. Norris is gone. <laughs> <laughs> All right, B. I was going to troll you, but you're a good dude, man. You, you take it easy. <laughs> All, right. All right. Thanks for the call, sir. All right. All right. URL's Battle Rap Arena. Check us out next week, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thanks to everybody who called in and asking all the questions. Hope we answered them as best as we possibly can. We out. Smack!